Hey people, it is Saturday, May the 20th. Time is 4.57 in the afternoon. It's currently 16 degrees Celsius and I'm with Megan here. We're on Queen Street West. She was just doing some vintage shopping at what store were you at? Mama Loves You Vintage. Mama Loves You? Okay. Yeah. So I, found a, I found a silk dress from the 80s for five bucks. And I'm going to take it apart and turn it into a cropped blouse and a skirt, and I'm really excited. Very good. So we're going to walk back home, basically, to where I live from here. I'll take us on a somewhat interesting route, I hope. Not directly along Queen the whole way. We'll, we'll hit a couple of streets. We're going to hit a bit of Dundas on the way as well. And a bit of Young Street, too. Liquidation sale. Yeah, it's pretty busy today. I'm gonna walk here to meet up with Megan. There were huge crowds all along Queen and Young and Dundas. Yeah, that's that's what popped up on my YouTube feed earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that in all of its glory. <laughs> And what's is this connected to the Ontario line? This I don't know. All these buildings are all shuttered. Is there like is this where one of the stations is going? I'm trying to remember. Because the building across the street is going to be where one of the stations is located, I know that. Yeah. Like they're preserving that building, it's not going to be demolished or anything. Good. But I guess the other entrance to the station will be on this corner. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's quite a stretch of buildings they have. Ooh, that's going to be so annoying when they have to dig up this entire intersection, basically. To do that, that's going to be awful. Yeah, well, when we get down to here, it's going to be tunneled, right? Yeah. It's going to be tunneled, so... But they're gonna have to dig this up at some point. Yeah, it's gonna be disrupted for sure, yeah. Like, are they gonna take out all these streetcar rails and then put them back in? I'm not sure. Like, what will happen to the 501 and the Spina? Well, it's already interrupted further up Queen anyway, so... No, I know, but like, are they just gonna get rid of the 501 routes? Well, probably not, because these, the subway won't run along the whole length of Queen. The subway is only going to run along just a portion of Queen, so the 501 will still be necessary. Good, because that's like iconic. You can't get rid of the 501. No, they're not going to do that. We just crossed Spadina. Geologic finally opened up. It's about time. It opened like a couple months ago, but it had been closed since March 2020. It's about time they came out of hiding after the rest of the world mostly did that a year ago, you know? <laughs> they still like strongly encourage masks in the store. Right. I was like, I haven't carried a mask on me in like probably a year and a half. I know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they... 
There's another vintage store there. Yeah, I've been in there. They're they're nice but really expensive. Yeah. Like it's one of those vintage stores where everything is the same as it. So it kind of defeats the purpose of even being a vintage store in a way. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can find. Actually, a lot of the time you can find nicer clothes, vintage shopping than you can at like in stores. Yeah. Because like stores where you buy clothes new everything is like kind of the same looking like if you go into Aritzia everything looks the same as like every other store or like Oakenfort I never could understand what the big buzz was about Oakenfort like I go in there and it's like literally just like the most boring clothes I've ever seen but that's just me that's just me I think it caters to that like quiet luxury aesthetic Right. So we're like, you want to look rich, but not like in an obvious way. Right. There's like this whole thing on fashion TikTok right now about like quiet luxury and like dressing, like dressing to look rich, but dressing like old money, not new money rich. So like really pared down like basic classic pieces like crew neck sweaters and straight leg jeans and like long cashmere overcoats and it's like a very boring aesthetic but like very like very like nice fabrics and stuff so anyway the point is that if you dress like that and hang around in public you'll attract a rich husband another reason to avoid tiktok at all costs <laughs> <laughs> my thing is like if i have to dress like that to attract a rich husband i don't want that look at that store hey Exotic snacks. I kind of want to go in. Okay, do you want to go it in? It looks too one? crowded. Well, I just... Well, do you want to just go in and take a peek and I'll yeah, wait? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just see a lot of breakfast cereal and things like that in there. Pringles? Pringles aren't that exotic. Skittles? Skittles aren't exotic. Nerds? I just see lots of candy that you find in like tons of regular corner stores. Fruity Pebbles, Oreo, Twix, Captain Crunch, Cheetos. I don't see a lot of exotic treats in there at all. Spoken like a cynical Gen Xer. Starburst. Alright, I am ready to move along now, especially since I'm standing so close to some Muzak just over there. I might have to pause the camera and resume. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's my mistake for suggesting she go in and check it out. <laughs> so I'll be back in a flash. Oh my god, that place is awesome. I looked in there, I didn't see anything exotic. It was just all regular snacks that you get at every store. No, 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 you cannot find those things at every store. They had cereal in there that I had never even heard of. I was like, oh my god, like versions of Lucky Charms that I have never even heard of in my life. Uh, I just saw like Pringles and Skittles and Look what I got things though. like that. I remember that from when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. I've never seen like cool in 
popping candy before. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to get that. Me too. I used to get my friends when I was a kid. Yeah, but it sounds like my siblings and I would try to see who was the loudest. While you're in there, it suddenly got all cloudy. No. Well, it's not supposed to rain. Pickle. So. Yeah. When I was in the vintage store, there was this like girl in the change room ahead of me, and I was like waiting to try on that dress. And she was talking to her friend on the phone, like debating whether or not to buy the dress. And it just took like such a long time, and I was like, just make a decision. Just make a decision. Like, if you don't like it, then bring it back. Just buy it. If you don't want it, you always just bring it back. So, so you had a temporary moment where you were in my shoes. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're you suddenly yeah. thought, oh, this is what Ken feels like. Pretty much. It's that waffle place I always wanted to go to. Oh, yeah. Why is it members only? <laughs> I licked it so it's mine. Because look at the waffles. <laughs> what about them? Look, look, look at what they're shaped like. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, now I get why it says I licked it so it's mine. Yeah. Okay. And come inside. Yeah. Oh my God, everything is so dirty here. <laughs> <laughs> In case that didn't show up on the video very well, the waffles are in the shape of a phallic part of the male anatomy. <laughs> they also have it in the shape of a particular form of the female anatomy. Also. Okay, there you go. So. I've only seen pictures of the other one. Oh. Not, yeah. No, no, they, yeah. they have both. Okay. Right. They have both. They have Right. <laughs> Like, like Alright, so we're on John Street. We're just going to head up into Grange Park up here, but then we'll cut over to McCall Street. We'll walk past OCAD University. Because the other day you mentioned, or during our stream, you, you wanted to walk down there, remember? Yeah. Yeah. I've got powers. Yeah, me too. I think the building that that was a part of burned down, right? And that's all that was left. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Parliament buildings in Ottawa burnt down also, and the only part of that that was left was the library. Really? Yeah, at the back, the big circular library. When did that happen? Oh, geez, like 100 years ago or more. Wow. So they rebuilt the Parliament buildings, but the library behind is still part of the original structure that burned. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. So did they build the new structures to look like the old ones have? No, they were bigger. Bigger and grander looking than the old ones. Oh. I guess if we're going to rebuild, you might as well. I, I think the old ones had a lot more wood or something. And then when they rebuilt it, it was all that stone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The way it looks now. Yeah. Very palatial. OCAD is so confusing inside. Have yeah. you ever been in there? No, uh, once actually, but that was before they built this big addition on top. Oh, yeah. My friend went to school here years ago. Just came to visit one time. We went in, 
Yeah, it's like very confusing on your side. So that's the Sharp Center for Design. That's what that's called, the edition. Like, it was built almost like around 20 years ago now, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think Will Aslop is the name of the architect. It's really cool. It's easily one of the coolest buildings in the city. Yeah. It's like... It's, Suspended on giant pencil crayons. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't we all though? <laughs> right. I mean, my life is pretty much propped up on pencil crayons. <laughs> and markers and all kinds of art supplies. Alright, so this is McCall Street. They have matching blowing hair in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> and matching, well, sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and matching walks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're hashtag twinning. Yeah, I think they were twins in real life, but <laughs> something tells me they're not. So. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, yeah. Going yeah. Holding hands. <laughs> I mean, I guess some twins do that, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here is the Art Gallery of Ontario. They're building a new addition to the gallery right here cool. in this little parking lot. So it's going to fit right in here. It's going to be a six-story addition. That'll add a lot of new gallery space. I think when that addition is finished, the Art Gallery of Ontario will jump up in the rankings to one of the bigger, bigger art galleries in North America. Yep. It's already one I of the this bigger ones, but check it out. yeah, this is it awesome, was right? Made out of sofas that were bronzed. It's supposed to be a take on like being a couch monster. Yeah, I never realized that's what it was, you know. But now that when you look up close, yeah. So you can see that the um, yeah. that chair. Wow. Like armchair. Yeah. And then that one too. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. Isn't it cool? Yeah. That looks like it was a pretty comfy chair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now it's cast in yeah. bronze and immortalized. Wow. That's awesome. That pub across the street used to be called the Village Idiot, and now it's called the Village Genius. I noticed that. Because I walked past and I was like, wait a second, why do I remember that place being called the idiot before? I thought, was that just the Man Mandela effect or whatever? <laughs> yeah, it used to actually be called the yeah. And they changed the name. All right, now here is Dundas. So we're going to head east along Dundas. I think like people who are professional artists, like the person who did that bronze sculpture, like when did they just saw there? You know what I want to do? I want to take a bunch of sofas and I want to just cast them in bronze. And then they actually just, they could just do that and like that's their job. Like yep. I was just think <laughs> they must be the happiest people on the planet. Like if literally my entire life, my whole job was just to like follow every crazy creative whim that occurs to me and I could just have full unbridled freedom to do that and get paid for it, that would be the most amazing thing I could ever think about. Like I just, that would be so cool. 
Yeah. Well, make it so. Make it so. <laughs> go around hey does anyone want to pay me to follow all of my creative wins <laughs> right <laughs> just pure unbridled like wake up one morning like i feel like graffiti painting my street and then i can do it I can just do it that would be so awesome like that would just give you like the deepest most profound sense of freedom to have that that would be so cool Getting breezy. Something sounds really good. I'm super hungry. Are you? I think I'm gonna eat dinner when we get home. Oh, it's so hot. I'm so excited about that funky pizza. <laughs> Someone was playing the accordion, but it's just a new Zach from one of the stores. Yep. <laughs> Every type of new Zach is everywhere at all times. Yeah. Especially in the summer. That's when you find the most amount of new Zach. Yep. Megan's homemade pants. Pretty funky. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funky. Yeah, I just like had a bunch of jeans in my closet that I never wore because <clears throat> they were like kind of out of fashion and skinny jeans and no one really wears skinny jeans anymore. So I just like took them apart and patched up like a new pair of jeans out of them and now I have a nice pair of jeans that I actually will wear. There you go. University Avenue. So we're going to walk right through the little Tokyo section of Dundas Street. That's where we had um, Korean food that one time, remember? Yeah. That, is. that was when I decided I liked you. <laughs> well, let's run. All oh, right, <laughs> Megan has blisters. Yeah. She's, she wore quieter footwear, but then it resulted in her getting blisters. Yeah. yeah. The tops of my feet are like shredded. Yeah. <laughs> but like every shoe gives me blisters, every single pair of shoes. Because I have yeah. super wide feet, so I have a really hard time finding shoes that don't hurt. Right. <laughs> unfortunately. So, yeah. You think that phone bill still works? There's no phone on it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, I, I Gen think, Z you know. probably walk past that and they're just like, what is that? They just think it's art. It's a mysterious uh, yeah. object, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just art. Sure. <laughs> okay. I think I've only used a payphone like once in my life. When I was like... <laughs> Probably maybe like 12 or 13, and I needed my parents to pick me up from the mall. Wow. And I used a payphone to call them because that was before I had a cell phone. So wow. it's the only time I've ever used one. But then I got my first cell phone when I was 16, so didn't need it anymore. <laughs> it does have that phone that's 
How many times did you use these occasions? Countless times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, what would you need it for? To call a friend or my parents or whatever from like somewhere when I was out and about. But like, why would you need to call someone? Like that? I don't know. Something came up. Okay, I've always wondered this. How, how did people meet up with each other before cell phones were invented? You <laughs> called each other on the phone and you made a plan to meet. But like, what if someone was running late or like... Then you the waited and trouble. wondered what was going on. That was horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, what if they got the... Like what, like, what happened with us just now? Like, imagine if there had been no cell phones. Yeah, then I would have been wandering up and down that section of Queen Street. Wondering what the heck is going on and where you were. <laughs> wow. Yep. Well, like, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Nope. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's how it was. Yep, that's how it was. But somehow I survived. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Like, since I've been old enough to go out and do things on my own, I've always had a cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I mean, my first cell phone was, like, one of those, like, funky, retro, like, flip, 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 flip phones. And you would, like, it was like a Motorola flip phone, and it was one of those that you, like, with the T9 texting. Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't even bother with any of those cell phones at all. I didn't get my first cell phone until the first iPhone came out. Seriously? Yeah. So you bypassed the whole flip phone yeah. era? Man. Man, you missed out. That was a time. Yeah. I wasn't going to make that transition until I had something worthy. <laughs> wow. That was such a time. I want a full-fledged computer in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Anything less than that, and it's not no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going up to Gerard, right? Yeah. There's um is there a choppers near there? It's at Carlton. Carlton. We could go up to Carlton if you want. No, it's too far. Alright. It's only another few minutes past Gerard. <laughs> so we have to go back to Abigail on the other At Bay and Dundas. This pigeon looks lost. I know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what's going on. Pitchy, pitchy, pitchy. more tulips over here. There's tulips all over the city now. Yeah. Ooh, look at that Elmo. What happened to this guy? Gigi. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Looks like it. Rest but in peace, Elmo. Never seen. What a sad head. sight. That is art. It's sad. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna leave. Look away, kids. <laughs> you don't want to see this. 
<laughs> the streets of Toronto can be rough sometimes. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> that might have been the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Poor Elmo. Yeah. That might make a good short. Elmo lying dead on the streets of downtown right. Toronto. <laughs> I'm sad to report Elmo is <laughs> here. Yeah. <laughs> Young and Dundas. Once again. Question, kid. crowd there on the southwest corner. And now we're going north on Young Street. Sushi burritos, yeah. No blaring music. Oh, oh, as soon as I said that, it pops up. 
It's almost like they saw me coming. They're like, oh, turn on the music quick. The Ken Continuum is approaching. Turn it on, turn it on. <laughs> Let's get away. Let's get away from that. So there's going to be a really tall building there, on that side, where that construction is underway. And across the street, there's going to be another really tall building. Pita and hummus. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go down there. Scott, that's gonna be so happy to see you. Yeah. Is it? He always likes to chill with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Kanji Queen. There's Tai on Young. Megan and I did a video heading to there before. I'm gonna walk on the outside of this. Couple of pigeons trying to get away. Run, run, run. All right, we're at Gerard, so we're going to head east along Gerard Street now. It's the Aura. Pardon me? I didn't want to walk through that stupid thing again. Uh, how come? Well, just because it basically eliminates you being able to see anything, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited about all the DIY projects I've collected since yesterday. <laughs> so I've got this dress, then that trench coat I'm going to upcycle from the jumpsuit that I got. And I found a proper zipper for my, um, my latex top. I went to the leather supply store and I actually found a really nice like metal separating zipper that was the right size that I need because remember I was saying I didn't love the color of the one that I found on the baby sweater yeah. I love the color of the other one I found so I got that and then I got some silver metal studs to put in the zipper so it will hold it to the latex so I won't have an issue where like the latex will separate from the zipper and then I bought like metal hardware for it as well also in silver so it's going to look like really nice with like the black and the nickel hardware 
on that latex top. And then, um, since I have that baby sweater, I'm just going to offer it to one of my sisters. Okay. And see if one of them wants it. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. But there's probably need some some light. It's so much more pleasant to walk along Gerard Street than it is to walk along Dundas. It is, yeah. Like, you know? No, I was just thinking that. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is a much more pleasant yeah. journey. Yeah. And, like, we would have to have walked that anyway because, like, we would have to walk that distance up your street as it is. So, like, right. that's why it's pretty much the same. I'm definitely looking forward to putting my feet up though. And food. I'm very, very looking forward to food. Are you getting hangry? I'm, yeah, I am yeah. getting hangry. I could I could perceive a hint of hangriness. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're getting good at that. Yep. <laughs> Starting to pick up on the hangry. When you were wondering why I wanted to walk on this side of the street yeah. instead of the other side. <laughs> The death side is faster. You're like, why did we have to cross to this side? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I know? I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a look north. <laughs> See, you don't really get hangry, so you don't know what it's no, like. No, I don't know what it's like to get hangry. Actually, no. <laughs> yes, you do know what it's like to get hangry. You know how, like, when you get kind of cranky at night? Yeah. You know that feeling when you start getting like everything's annoying me and like well I hate these Reddit people and like yeah you know, when I'm tired yeah and then you realize like oh I'm tired it's time for bed yeah that's it, that's how it feels to be hangry only okay. instead of realizing you're tired you realize you're hungry all right it's the same so thing. lack of sleep and lack of food can make you make you irritable irritable right uh huh mm -hmm. see like yeah I don't really get irritable when I'm tired when I'm tired I just get like. It seems know, to me like, that hangriness is a lot more apparent, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like it's it's the level of irritab irritabil ir irritability <laughs> yeah. is much higher, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get, like, kind of cranky. Yeah, because it's, like, also, like, when you get hangry, like, your blood sugar levels are dropping, so you need yeah. to, like, eat. Because or... some people literally become, like, a Jekyll and Hyde yeah. kind of thing, and then... And then later on, after they've eaten, if their friend mentions something about it, like, oh my god, you were such a jerk earlier, they go like, I was hungry. Yeah. Like, like that's uh -huh. that's all the explanation that they need. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, so, you don't have to be a jerk. Be a jerk. Exactly. <laughs> but you I was hungry. Okay, well. so? That's right. It doesn't mean you get to be a jerk right. to people. Right. I fully agree That's with like that. child behavior, you know? Exactly. Like, Something was not happening that I wanted to be happening, so I lashed out. That's right. <laughs> okay. I what are fully... you, five? It must be five. No, exactly. I fully, <laughs> yeah. I fully contend with that. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, when I get hangry, I try to, like, not let that bleed out into other things, you know? Like, I can kind of, like, it kind of still does because, and there's, like, an element to that that you can't help. Like, because there's, like, you start to hear, like, I hear the edge in my voice, and, like, I hear the slight, like... You know, there's, like, parts that come out, but I try to not be, like, a jerk about it. Yeah. All right, well, now we can cross back to the other side of Yay. the street. Excellent. We're almost there. Yeah. Almost, almost there. I can see the corner. Of Just the crossing street. Jarvis. Yep. Didn't even have to wait. <laughs> and I am just about back home, so I'm going to start to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. The walk with Megan, starting from Queen Street West. It was very busy all along Queen and then down to Dundas. Young and Dundas was a madhouse. Yep. yep. <laughs> and up to Gerard, much more peaceful walk than along Dundas Street East, which we usually take. So leave a comment down below if you enjoyed, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, that is. 
and also be sure to hit that notification bell that way you won't miss any of my videos when I post them which I do daily and if you'd like to support the channel there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store and there is also a super thanks button right down below if that's how you'd like to support the channel and you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum, and you can find Megan under Instagram under Megan Sandor and also on YouTube under Megan Sandor check out her channel so that's all for now thanks for watching be sure to keep checking back because as always I will continue we will continue we will both continue that's right <laughs> And we'll look at lovely construction to end things off. Ah yes, Toronto.